our discussion in this we will be discussing following points first point what is john teller distortion and the second point john teller distortion in octahedral complexes and the third point the splitting of t2g and eg due to john teller distortion and the fourth point uh, relation between d electron concentration and type of john teller distortion finally we will do some problems based on the john teller distortion the first question to come up will be uh, what is John Teller distortion, right? John Teller effect is geometrical distortion of a non-linear molecular system that reduces its energy and symmetry. Distortion is typically observed in octahedral complexes. This can also be observed in tetrahedral complexes. But in this lecture, we are going to discuss only John Teller distortion in octahedral complexes. John Teller distortion depends upon the electronic state of the system. Let's have example of hypothetical molecule ML6. ML6. If it has regular octahedral geometry, it can be drawn like this. Where well, there are two types of uh, metallic and bonds are here: two axial, two axial, and four equatorial. One, two, Three, four. Let's denote the axial bond by letter A and equatorial bond by E. Therefore, here axial bond A, this also axial bond A, equatorial. In a regular octahedral molecule, all the six bonds are of the same length. Therefore, here I am going to write A equal to E. If we compress the ligand along Z axis, called Z in distortion. Here, if we compress the molecule like this, if we compress the molecule along Z axis, called Z in distortion, Z in, it would give tetragonal structure. Similarly, if we elongate the axial ligand along Z axis, if we elongate the axial ligand along the Z axis, like this, called Z out distortion. set out distortion. It would give tetragonal structure. Here, axial bonds are longer than the equatorial bond. Here, axial bonds are shorter than the equatorial bond. Tetragonal distortion from octahedral symmetry is called John Teller distortion in octahedral complexes. Tetragonal distortion from the octahedral uh, symmetry is called John Teller distortion in octahedral complexes. This occurs when metal ion complexes is unsymmetrically a filling of T2G and EG orbital. This occurs when metal ion complexes is unsymmetrically unsymmetrical filling of T2G and EG orbital. T2G and EG orbitals. Complexes with unsymmetrically filled T2G orbitals show weak John Teller distortion. Complexes with unsymmetrically filled T2G orbitals
unsymmetrically filled T2G orbitals show weak jointeller distortion. Unsymmetrically filled EG orbitals show strong jointeller distortion. This distortion lowers the energy of metal complexes or increases the stability. Whether the complex is Z in or Z out depends upon which distortion leading to more stabilization. Let's examine the jointeller distortion in octahedral complexes having D1 to D10 electrons in the metal ion with delta O is less than the pairing energy. Here we can see that D3 D5, D8, D10 have symmetrically filled D orbitals so they will not show the jointeller distortion while D1, D2, D4, D6, D7 and D9 D1, D2 D4, D6, D7 and D9 unsymmetrically filled D orbitals. So, they will show jointeller distortion. Among these, D1, D2, D6, D7 with unsymmetrically, um, unsymmetrically filled T2G orbitals show weak jointeller distortion. While D4, and D9 with unsymmetrically filled EG orbitals show strong jointeller distortion. Strong jointeller distortion. Here, delta O is less than the pairing energy, pairing energy which is in the high spin condition. So, we can say that D6 and D7 high spin uh, complexes, D6 and D7 high spin octahedral complexes show weak jointeller distortion. Weak jointeller distortion while D4 and D9 high spin complexes show strong jointeller distortion. Let's examine the jointeller distortion in octahedral complexes. D1 to D10 electrons in metal ion with delta O is greater than the pairing energy. Delta O is greater than the pairing energy. Here, D3 low spin D6 D8, D10 have symmetrically filled D orbitals so they will not show the jointeller distortion while while D1, D2, D4, D5, D7 and D9 have unsymmetrically filled D orbitals so they will show jointeller distortion. Among these D1, D2, D4, D5 unsymmetrically filled T2G orbitals will show weak jointeller distortion. While D7 and D9 with unsymmetrically filled EG orbitals show strong jointeller distortion. Strong jointeller distortion. 
here delta o that is greater than the pairing energy which is in the low spin condition we can say that d4 and d5 low spin octahedral complexes show weak john teller distortion why d7 and d9 low spin octahedral complexes uh, show strong john teller distortion so much is there to explain uh, but i am going to stop here otherwise it will take much time to explain now let's practice some csar previous years questions here the question is identify the correct statement about nih2062 plus and cuh2062 plus this case they have taken from 2014 uh, june 2014 june therefore here NiH2 62 plus that is DH system uh, and have regular octahedral geometry. Therefore, here all NiO bond length are equal. Okay. Then here CuH2 62 plus uh, shows a large John Teller distortion uh, with Z out tetragonally elongated. Therefore, here CuO equatorial uh, bonds are shorter than the axial bond. Therefore, here option C is the correct answer. This question I have taken from 2015 June CSR examination. Uh, here the question is among the complexes, uh, John Teller distortion is expected. In. Four options are given over here. You have to find out the correct answer. The first I am going to take the the option A. Therefore, here in this case, option A, the oxidation state of chromium that is plus two. Therefore, here the chromium uh, that is uh, option A, that is a D four system. D four system. This is a low spin complex. Therefore, here I am going to write T two G four E G. Therefore, this is unsymmetrical. then option b uh, that is d6 system therefore this is t t2 g6 e g0 this is symmetrical then option c uh, option c this also d6 configuration That is T two G six E G. There is no electron. This also symmetrical. The next is option D. This is D five system. This is T two G five. And E.G. There is no electron in the E.G. orbital. This is unsymmetrical. Hence, only A and D is having unsymmetrical filling. Hence, undergo John Teller distortion. Therefore, here the correct answer is option C. Option C is the correct answer. John Teller distortion occurs where there is unsymmetrical filling of electrons in T2G or E2G orbital. 